All right, let's generate a random Star Wars character. So you can see here that we have swappy.dev slash API slash people slash one. And that's just going to get the first character in their database. ID number one is the first character in swappy.dev's database. What if we go over to their website and we look at people slash four, who is number four? Uh, Darth Vader, nice. Another common character, so that's a good one to use. What if we wanted to get, who's number, I don't know, I'm going to guess number 11. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I'm on a roll here. Anakin Skywalker, nice. Uh, so, you know, keeping it in the family. Um, okay, so that's random-ish. Let's see what happens when we go to number 100. There isn't a 100. And so with a lot of APIs, what we can do is, because this is a detail URL, we can simply go to slash people, and this will show us all of the people. It says there's a count of 82. So we know there's at least 82 characters in there with an ID. So now we need a random number between 0, or not 0, but a random number between 1 and 82. So we're going to create a random number, const random number is equal to, and this is just plain JavaScript here, so we're going to round whatever this number is, math dot random, and this is going to give us a number between 0 and 1, and then we're going to multiply that by 82, and make sure that that's rounded. So if it's like 0 0.41523, it's going to multiply that by 82, and then round that to a whole number. Then we can take that number, and we can turn this into a template literal instead of a regular string, and we can throw this variable in here. Again, this is just regular JavaScript at this point. And what this is going to do is get a random number between 1 and 82. And so every time we click this, every time we click this function, this click event is going to create a new random number, create a new random URL, and it's going to fetch that URL and then set that data for us. And every time that data is set, our page updates automatically. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Let's refresh. Random character one is Ben. And every time I click this, it gets a new character. So now we actually have this up and running. Now we still have a few things to work with, such as the films. Okay, if there's multiple films, let's find one that has multiple films. Here's a good one. C3PO is in every film that they have in their database. This is one long string. What we want to do is actually show this as maybe a link and turn this into a link as well. So let's go ahead and first of all, in the next lesson, let's create a link here. I'll show you how to do that. Um, and then in the lesson after that, let's go ahead and turn this into multiple bullet points.